Yeah. Play a T, that's me. Uh-huh. Hollywood in the hood. This is Dominique Paramore, How right? How you doing? Thank you very much. <laughs> I got my man Ryan Martin. Huh? And Anthony, how you pronounce your last name? Linye. Linye. Yes. What yes, you know sir. about that? The cast and crew of the Deliverance right yeah. here. Give it up. <laughs> well, yeah, we were joking in the back about that a little bit. At least I was. It wasn't no joke to my man, you know what I mean? Dominique, <laughs> thank you for being here. Now, Dominique is the director of the play. What a pleasure. Oh, my gosh. It's been such an exciting journey. Thank you for having us on. Oh, no, no doubt. Now, tell me, when you first got... When did the play, you know, from the, who's the writer? Michael Oltman. Um, he's actually was a resident w- writer at Kiramu for some time. Okay. And um, he's the, uh, arti- the artistic director of the African Theater but on 70. I was kind of like week. not on it, you know, because my plate was extremely full. It's very, very full. Uh, when Terrence Spivey, he called me maybe about a month, a little over a month before the show was to go up, and he was like, you know, Dominique, I think I want you to direct this play. And when Terrence so actually... Terrence did, called you He actually. did, he did. Isn't, isn't that ill? Terrence is calling up people giving them breaks, <laughs> man. Big shout out to Terrence. Shout out. Go ahead. <laughs> And, you know, when Terrence asks you to do something, the answer is yes. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, <laughs> you yeah, That's like the Obama right. you, can't, you can't tell him But that. the thing is, you got to make sure you can do it. Right. And that's what I didn't know. Um, but then he emailed me the script, and that's what I told him. I said, well, send me the script. Let me see what it requires, and let me see if I can really pull this off in a month. And um, I'm just a nerd. When As soon as I read it, the nerd in me took over, like, I'm like nerd nation unite. I love history. You start seeing the vision of oh it all. Oh my gosh, especially about our people. That that's you what know? gave you the courage to say, "Yeah, I'm gonna do this." I said, "No matter what, I gotta cut off what I gotta do." You know, um, I'm gonna knock this out. That ain't no <laughs> fun business because you're dealing with people that got hopes, dreams, and aspirations. So when they come to you and they don't fit the bill, you, not only are you the person to put them on, you want to cut them off too. You know, so did you have to go through that process? You know. Of course, you did deleting some people that just didn't fit the cut. I did, um, but you know, I really started reaching out to my friends first. Okay, so that, that helped was you out a little yeah, um, and not just my friends, friends. That can act though. That's what I say. Not just my friends, but you know, actors who I'm a huge fan of. Okay. you know, like the gentleman who shared the stage with me today. Like they're absolutely phenomenal. Mr. Ryan Martin and, 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 and Anthony Linier. An- Anthony. So how did you get hip to Anthony and Ryan? We did a project together. Um, and they were just standouts. They were absolute standouts. Actually, Ryan was my um, he was my boo in the in the it project we did. Yeah, kind of hard, kinda hard yeah. not to forget boo. You know what I mean? <laughs> Matter of fact, boo was probably the first one you called. Hey, boo. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and um, Anthony, he I have to say he shocked me. You know, he definitely had the look. But I'm like, okay, let me see if if he can do a slave because you know in the play he yeah. was a Jamaican. He was like an angry Jamaican. Right. And so I'm like, well, let me see if he can do a slave. Mr. He Henry was knocked it out of the park. Wow. Knocked it out of the park. So I you was played like, Mr. Henry. Correct. Let, now hold on, now that's pretty big. How did you get angry? I mean, you know, because you had to be angry. Well, being angry, that's not really hard. It's <laughs> it, it's more so like bottling bottling those emotions because Henry is just not about being angry. It's about being sad and mm-hmm. and then mad and then sad again and then even madder and then mm-hmm. cool and and laughing. So it's really about bottling up the emotions and then displaying them where they need to be. So awesome. You know. What did you learn about yourself in the process? Uh I learned that I can be very a a very Slave, like I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> something that I never thought I would be. Yeah. Talk about um, Henry Box Brown, and that's the slave who actually mailed himself to freedom. He got so frustrated um, with his uh, current condition that he put himself in a box and mailed himself to an abolitionist in the North, and then became a speaker on behalf of the abolitionist movement. Um, and you know, I just you know. They're, all, like all he said is absolutely true. When you think about being a slave, experiencing freedom, right. and then what a lot of our view, or audience find out is that he also experienced a lot of loss. Right. You know, so what was supposed to be his freedom became his shame. Wow. Now, uh, Ryan, what part do you play in the in the in the play? I play Aaron. I actually play Aaron, who is Henry's son. Can't you see the resemblance? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> little bit. <laughs> you know, yeah. blacks you know, in <laughs> yeah. trouble. You know what I mean? So yes. you play his son. I play his son who basically comes looking for him. 
um, because the last time I saw my father, right. Aaron saw his father, um, he was being taken away. Right. And um, Aaron is struggling with the fact that his, his father did not come back for him right. and his family. So I go looking for him, right. you know, and I find him. Right. <laughs> what do you hope to happen with you and for you, you know, with, with this play? Well, with this play, I, I definitely hope for um, some more spinoffs and uh, for people <laughs> to actually get to see the diversity in, in me, you know. Awesome. And well, another opportunity to work with Dominic. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, we got to throw that in there. What about you, Ryan? Well, for me, really just to tell a story, um, to, to have people really learn something um, and, and get, you know, a sense of history. Um, that's the biggest thing for me, and I just like doing what I do. Has the thought you know? of performing at the Caramel House hit you yet? It sort of has, um, but I didn't realize how, you know, how historic that place was until I've been through it. And I was just like, wow. You start feeling the vibe when right. you're walking through It that. comes alive, you know what I mean? And then right. you get on the stage, and it's like, and So oh, has this like, helped you in life, the, the experience, the process of going through everything? Has it, like, you know, um, strengthened everything you thought you, you, you knew you could do? Oh, right? it's a message for sure, yeah, because some stuff we take for granted, man. It's like, a, 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 as you can see it today, it's like a stepping stone. Like, people that fought and tried to escape and all that stuff now, and people, what we do now, we take stuff for granted, man. Right. Like a lot of people don't paved the way, man. And people don't know, don't realize that. But it's, come see the place. It's a real good message. Right, right. I'm still learning. Every time I step on the stage, I feel different coming off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's somebody not taking nothing for granted. Now, Vision Vibe, you know, di different venue Big than on. what you're used to doing. Definitely. Everybody know Vision Vibe for being a source yeah. of comedic relief. You know, he makes everybody day in that way. But then you got called for this opportunity. And then you, at first you were kind of a little, like, hesitant a little bit. Right. Why, right. why that is? I mean, you know, it's something different. I mean, you know, you feel different <laughs> every time you step into a, a different arena. You know what I'm right. saying? So, you know, I try my best, man. You know, I try to bring the heat, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they put a lot of pressure on me, man. I'm dealing with some skilled actors. Right. Actors and actresses up right. here, they so you know, they put a lot of pressure on me, man. So you know, so did bring you learn a lot in the process, man? Coming out of your comfort zone, dealing with another platform, man. Oh yeah, man. definitely a learning. It had experience. to help you out in your career. Definitely, definitely. I try to apply. She's an excellent teacher right here. You know what I'm saying? She done yes. taught me a lot, even right. in, in this short period of time. So you know, we learning, man. We working. Right now, this young lady, you in the play too? Yeah, I'm a singer and actress. You, you're, so they lean on you real heavy in the play. Uh, just in the beginning. In the like, beginning? I sing the opening number and then. So you set the tone. Pretty much, yeah. How did that make you feel knowing that I you got to perform awesome. at the world famous Caramel House and you're setting the tone? It has been my like childhood dream yeah, to be on stage at the Caramel. <laughs> so to sing at the Caramel House, like awesome. <laughs> right, right, right.